Next weekend, Hillary Clinton will give her first major campaign speech since declaring herself a candidate via YouTube. Since then, she has proven almost uncanny in her ability to avoid reporters' questions as scandals about her private email server and other things continue to swirl. The latest Fox News poll shows 61% of registered voters believe the Clintons used their foundation to sell influence. But when it comes to Democratic primary voters, only 10 percent are very concerned about the allegations of Hillary Clinton's dishonesty and unethical behavior. 42 percent of them don't care at all. Democratic radio show host Mark Levine, GOP strategist Sean Noble with D.C. London is now here for a fair and balanced debate. Gentlemen, appreciate you guys being here. Mark, first to you. Why do you think that the scandals are not resonating with Democratic primary voters? Well, I think partly because people aren't looking for scandals on the Republican side. I mean, Jeb Bush is raising 100 percent of, of his money, campaign money, with a secret off-the-shelf PAC. Now, that's something going to his campaign fund. It's not going to a charity like the Clintons. And people aren't asking questions about where all that money is oh, going. Oh, there's, there's no foreign money going into that, though. We don't know. We don't know. It's all secret. The Clintons have disclosed at least 90 percent of what's going on. And we're saying, well, they should disclose 100. I believe 100 percent full disclosure. And I think when people ask for equal disclosure of everything the Republicans are doing and everything the Democrats are doing, then we could take these I haven't heard, this is a new This is a new argument. I haven't heard I haven't heard the super PAC argument about the Clinton Foundation. Sean, does that make sense? I, it doesn't make sense. I mean, I think that it, obviously their, their super PAC money is disclosable. I mean, they're raising... Your, not Jeb Bush's. Yeah. It, it, he has a new super PAC that's all designed to be in it, secret. But it's going to... Do you think gonna, he should disclose it? It will be... The super PAC, if it's fund, organized under 527, it will be disclosed. It's they're not. Required it's supposed to be, to be this new if clever it's a thing they're doing. C, a 501c4 doesn't have to be uh, disclosed, but they only, they're only they limited on how much political activity they can do. So if it's going to be involved in politics, it's going to be disclosed. That's not going to be an issue. It's Clinton Foundation... I mean, this is an issue where Hillary Clinton has a real problem. I mean, when you have 61% of Democrat primary voters you know, saying, well, we don't think that she's going to be necessarily the one. I mean, the conventional wisdom is she's got this thing locked up. Democrat primary voters don't think that. And then if you take the, the even though 10 percent were, uh, you know, said they were very concerned about dishonesty and, and, and unethical, put any concern in that and it gets to 57 percent, that's a real problem for her. And I think that that's going to continue. Are, why aren't we seeing Lincoln Chafee, Martin O'Malley, Bernie Sanders, why aren't we seeing these guys just hammering on her? I mean, she's not coming out. She's not fighting back, in part because there's nobody on her side that's attacking her. You know, I, we have a year and a half before this campaign goes on. There's going to be plenty of time for debate, plenty of time I mean, for th this, this is a time that you could see other Democrats really going after her and trying to make some waves and trying to make a name for themselves, and nobody's doing it. I why think not? That, well, I think Lincoln Chafee is the one that's that's done it the most. I think he just started, so we're going to see whether that gets traction. I think there's some fear. I mean, the Clintons don't play very nice. Well, and, you know, that, it's, no. it's, I, you know, I think there's an understanding that she's the clear front runner. It's not and, like and the people Republican are, people race. Just aren't willing to, they were there there to shadow box, not for a knockout punch. I, I think the people are there to bring up a number of issues. Yeah. Bernie Sanders has a number of important issues. He's probably not going to get the nomination, but he, he, he definitely pulls the heart strings of a lot of Democrats. I'm glad they're there. As a Democrat, I'm glad they're there. As right, a Democrat gonna, primary uh, voter, though, I, I really don't think Hillary Clinton's is, is in much trouble. Uh, you, you are in the minority. 69% of Democratic <laughs> primary voters don't think it's over. As you well, point out, we're going to move, move, we're gonna move, over, move on to the GOP. All right. You got a large horse race in the GOP. I want to show you the latest polling there. Walker, 12%. This is a national poll, though, so it doesn't quite count in terms of Iowa, South Carolina, New Hampshire. Bush also at 12%. Carson, 11%. Paul, 9%. Cruz, 8%. A lot of folks were out for the latest cattle call out in Iowa. Joni Ernst is the senator out there, has a roast and ride, barbecue and Harleys that a lot of the candidates uh, headed out for. Sean, do you think anybody did anything to break out of the pact? I don't. I think that, you know, the speeches were all pretty standard fare. I think that the person who has got a little bit of an advantage right now in Iowa is Walker. He's got roots there. He he represents well there because of his... Uh, he rides Harleys he, a he lot. He rides Harleys. He, ride, he was the only one who rode with Joni. I don't think that that makes that much difference when it comes to it. But if you look at the reports and, and what was going on on the ground, it was clear that that Walker and Rubio were getting the most attention from the grassroots folks at the fair. All right, we, uh, we, we're going to have to leave it there. Uh, shockingly, you guys have a lot to say about politics, and we'll have you back to say <laughs> even more. Sean Noble, Mark Levine, we appreciate it, guys. Thank Thanks, you, Lena. Thanks, Shannon. Well, the people of Shreveport, Louisiana, are preparing.